From Lindenwald High School, this is the Morning Roar. With anchors, the Imani Deputy and Marquez Haywood. With meteorologist Darren Hall. And the 411 with Javier Morales. Good morning, LHS. I'm DMI Deputy. Welcome to today's broadcast of the Morning Roar. And I'm Marquez Haywood. Today is Thursday, February 14, 2019. Seniors, if you have not made your second senior trip payment, please do so as soon as possible. The third payment is due by February 15th. Do you like to dance and want to hang out with your friends and have fun at school? Maybe you wish your boyfriend or girlfriend would take you on a fun and expensive date? They come to the LHS Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day dance on February 15th. 15. This dance is for all LHS students and their guests. If they are from out of district, they need to have a signed permission slip that you can get from Mr. Flood O'Ryan or Ms. Porter. The dance is hosted by the sophomore class and will be from 7 to 10 here in the cafeteria. There will be a selfie booth, DJ, and pizza. Tickets will be on sale on all lunches. Do not miss this fun event. The prom is coming. The prom is coming. Need to find a dress? Maybe some shoes? Not sure what make it to use? The ZEP team is hosting the Ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Inc. New Jersey Garden City Alumni Chapter, presenting the Pearls of Perfection Free Prom Boutique 2019. Here on February 16th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., all juniors and seniors are welcome to attend. They will have over 300 dresses to choose from. All are free and shoes too. There will be a makeup artist on hand and a DJ. Any questions, see Mrs. Lee in D102 for more information. The B-Ball for Life Foundation, along with Camden County East Branch of the NAACP Youth Council, hosted by our own guidance department, presents the HBCU College Fair. Interested in an HBCU but not sure what it is or if it's for you? Come out on March 2nd from 11 to 2.30 to meet some alumni from these institutions. Make connections and network. There will also be a movie about the founding and purpose of these great colleges and universities. Any questions, see Mrs. Lee in D102. Don't forget to buy your ticket to the Valentine's Day dance. The last day to buy your ticket is today in all lunch periods. Tickets are $8 and the dance is here on Friday, February 15th from 7 to 10 p.m. Non-LHS students can attend the dance but need to have a permission slip. No tickets will be sold at the door, so please make sure you and your guests have the proper forms filled out and turned in. Attention, attention. This is a community service hour event. Students are needed to help babysit young children here at LHS on Tuesday, February 26th from 6.15 to 8 p.m. Please see Mrs. Cruz in the main office to sign up. It's weather time, now let's go to our meteorologist. I'm Sharon Hall with today's forecast. Today we'll have probably cloudy skies with a high of 47 and a low of 37. And winds coming from the west at 9 miles per hour. And let's take a look at the five day forecast. On Friday, we'll have mostly cloudy skies and temperatures at a high of 58 and a low of 32. On Saturday, we'll have snow with a high of 36 and a low of 22. On Sunday, we'll have snow with a high of 38 and a low of 27. On Monday, we'll have cloudy skies with a high of 37 and a low of 18. On Tuesday, we'll have cloudy skies with a high of 37 and a low of 24. Now, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Javier Morales with your 411. It's time for another 4 World Moment brought to you by Mr. Flick's Community Spotlight Class. For real? Do you know the name of the network used by many African Americans offering shelter and aid to runaway slaves? If you guessed the Underground Railroad, you're right. Despite of being called the Underground Railroad, it was actually not a railroad. The underground part of the name comes from its secrecy, and the railroad part of the name described the network of meeting places, secret routes, passageways, and safe houses used by the slaves. The hiding places, such as private homes, churches, and schoolhouses, were called stations, safe houses, and depots. The people operating them were called station masters. There were many well-used routes in the Underground Railroad stretching west through Ohio to Indiana and Iowa. There were three major routes in South Jersey. Station A, a connection from Camden to Burlington and from Bordentown to Princeton. Station B, which included a system from Woodbury to Mount Laurel. 
and Station C, which consisted of a route from Greenwich to Swedesboro, then on to Mount Holly. Others headed north through Pennsylvania and into New England or through Detroit on their way to Canada. The reason many escapees headed for Canada was because of the Fugitive Slave Acts in the U.S. The first act passed in 1793 allowed local governments to apprehend and extradite escaped slaves from within the borders of free states back to their point of origin and to punish anyone helping the fugitives. To go along with the railroad theme, people who guided fugitive slaves were known as conductors. One of the most famous conductors was Harriet Tubman. During a 10-year span, she made 19 trips into the South and escorted over 300 slaves to freedom. Another famous conductor was abolitionist John Brown. Brown established the League of Gileadites, devoted to helping fugitive slaves to get to Canada. He led a raid on Harper's Ferry to create an armed force to make its way deep into the South and free slaves by gunpoint. Unfortunately, Brown's men were defeated and Brown was hanged for treason in 1859. Later on, President Lincoln announced the Emancipation Proclamation, which granted freedom to slaves in Confederate states on New Year's Day in 1863. The Underground Railroad seized operations during the Civil War that same year. This has been your For Real Moment. For real? I'm DMI Deputy. And I'm Marquez Haywood. You stay classy, Lindenwald. Thank you for watching today's telecast of The Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS-TV. Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.